All right, got everything torqued down, cleaned up, going back together. A uh, couple things to note. Um, there's a couple T-joints here. This is pretty common in a lot of engines, but I figured I'd call it out because I'm already here. Uh, there's these T-joints. There's four, one at each corner, that needs a uh, decent-sized bead of RTV going across to keep oil from wicking and having a leak. So um, the, if you don't know, this is where you're going to have your oil pan your block flange, and then on here, your rear main seal carrier, and then you have the same thing up front with your timing cover. So um, it's got to put a bead of RTV across each one of these so you don't have any leaks. Got my dipstick in here, so it fits. Uh, go in the oil pan, and this is a lot of the reasons these leak on the aftermarket stuff. Specifically at the front, it's not as bad on the Hellcats as it is on the other ones. They have a much bigger overhang. But you can see this little embossed bead here. This is really what does all the sealing. And it's raised compared to the rest of the gasket. Um, a lot of the aftermarket oil pans don't have the same contour on this inside curve. So you can't really see it. But underneath my finger, there's no oil pan rail here. So if you don't put extra RTV in this general kind of area right here, you're going to have oil that's going to wick up and leak outside at this corner here. Because this flat flange here, like I said, the rest of it's raised, isn't going to seal it properly. So you're going to be prone to leaking. Um, and again, that's because, for whatever reason, none of the aftermarket guys have the same amount of uh, oil pan flange overhang as they do from the factory. So got to watch out for that. Put extra RTV here. Otherwise, you're going to have leaks. And from what I've heard, they leak really, really bad. Uh... So, I think the last thing before I actually stab this on here. Okay, so it pans on here. Everything lines up pretty good. I'll re-clean the mounting surfaces off. And you can see the dipstick fits just fine. So, that ended up working out perfectly. Now, I'll have to double check and make sure the calibration is correct. But I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. Because the distance from the block flange to the end of this dipstick is the same no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're using a two-quart oil pan, a 500-gallon oil pan. The whole point of having a max oil level is to keep your oil from uh, reaching a level where it's going to hit the crankshaft. So this distance from your counterweights, you know, to the block, it, no, that, that doesn't actually change unless you stroke the engine. So um, shouldn't have any issues, but I'm going to double-check it nonetheless.